Hi everybody. I'm just trying out my daughter's old phone that she's given to me because my camera's packed up on me. Um, yeah, it just took me ages to balance it there. <laughs> I'm throwing a few tea bowls or chow wans um, to try some raw glazing on. I know I said that I've done cutting corners in my previous clip, but I found a couple of glazes that are specifically, or supposed to be, <laughs> for um, raw glazing, cone six and seven. So I'm just throwing a few simple shapes to try that on. I'll give you a look at what I've been up to as well recently once I've done this. thing I want when I'm raw glazing as an air bubble. I don't know if you can get tripods for cameras, I know you can get selfie sticks, but <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to use my cheese board on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's a homemade paddle. Um, I bought a, a cheese board for two pound fifty and used my Dremel to put some grooves in it. So yeah, two pound fifty as opposed to twenty-two pound fifty, like the one I saw online. <laughs> prettiest thing in the world but it does leave a mark there we go yeah, it's the sound on my camera that's um, not working I thought it was the memory card but I bought a new memory card and it's still not picking the sound up properly. Say so folks, you've probably seen this done a hundred times or more. But I will be original one day. <laughs> well, I am original. On me. <laughs> going to film for. quite a bit of clay at the bottom to put a foot ring on. Won't film that folks. There's hundreds of videos of that. Okay. my 
scarf off. It's getting in the way. It's cold here. Done a video at all yet? This camera. So yeah. Just hope it works. Try a faceted one this time. Bend the top part in so I've got somewhere for my facet to finish. Somewhere for it to start. So I've got a cheese board and a cheese slicer. if they don't start and stop in the exact same place. Probably tell folks I'm rushing a bit because I've absolutely no idea how long it's going to record for. I'm just going to open this out. My children bought me some modelling tools for Christmas, bless them. Um, I've got to put them to use. <laughs> they are a bit on the small side. Um, the only one I've used up to now is one with a combed, combed end. So I'll put that on this one. Slightly inspired by Phil Rogers, um, he leaves a band on some of his. So I'm going to 
another go at something like that. Checking, it's still filming folks. Moment to hold a mirror up behind the camera <laughs> and see what the viewfinder is doing. Okay, so I'm going to try and leave a bit of a rib of clay halfway up or just over halfway maybe just use another one of these tools to enhance that slightly can find one one might work. So try and give it a bit more of an edge. Yeah, could have done been a bit thicker. Oh well, they're just for testing as I say, so not to worry. do for those folks for now. Just grab the camera. Ooh. I have already thrown quite a few. Well, one or two. So once I've just done. Good practice, nice easy things to throw. Um, yeah, I'm still using mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, had an earthen wear firing. Um, that's the last of my terracotta. I think I'm just going to give these pots away. Uh, the best one that came out of this was my musical Ascos. to get out more. <laughs> um, these just little sponge holders or soap dishes. Um, what else? Oh, just having a go with one of my scent burners. Candle's about finished now, but they fired quite nicely. Yeah, I know them were firing under stoneware firing. Caddies came out quite nice. Pigs, that's the last bird. 
and make some more of these. Um, I've had an order for some teapots and some jugs, which I'm really happy about. Although I did go online to find independently owned shops in my area. Um, I found a couple and arranged to go and meet somebody. And this is what they want, folks. <laughs> so hopefully once they are all glazed up, they'll look nice. Yeah, some pots I've dipped in red iron oxide and red earthenware slip. Um, these are going to be raw fired here. This shallow dish has got a black slip with a white hackamy decoration on it. It's going to be raw fired. Water jug there is going to be once fired as well. It's got the clear glaze on the inside. One's a chino and one's just a clear. Although the chino glaze is much whiter than the clear glaze, so <laughs> I'm sure I didn't mix them up. Okay, just a quick catch up. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks. Bye for now.